Speaking out, one punch could change everything at heavyweight. Is, is there anything because of the, the punishment both guys took, Deontay and Tyson, that, that that'll affect his punch resistance or affect him at all as a fighter coming back? I don't think Tyson took that much punishment. Honestly, he got hit with one clean shot. And then the next one was like a, the next knockdown was like a clubbing shot, right, right. which I was very happy of. It wasn't the knuckles or a real punch because a real punch might have done some big damage, but it wasn't. So I, I'm very happy about that. I don't think he took that much punishment. I think he uh, distribute, he distributed a lot of punishment to, uh, to Deontay Wilder. And, but I don't think that's even a big factor for Deontay because his whole career, I mean, he only had two tough fights. And yeah, that was that the second fight. Yeah, that seemed with, so tough that... Could he really so, be then, the same? So, so let's call it one fight then. He only had one tough fight his whole career. Two. I mean, you know, well, right, I mean, but two, you're talking yeah. about the last one. You said the last one was specific. so brutal. I mean, yeah, but like so, so let's just say one then. Because the, the first one start, was stopped in the seventh round, and the second one was stopped in the eleventh round. Big dog style. And, uh,. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think Deontay's taking that much punishment. He's been a dominant fighter for so many years. His whole career's been dominant. So he's had no punishment in his career. Him having a long layoff and a break, it's gonna do him good. Uh, it, 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 it's some old science that I won't, I, won't, I won't touch on right now, but it's some old science that, you know, giving the body rest is very helpful. Uh, you know, it's important. So, Deontay having some rest, I think it, uh, it'll do him some good. And uh, I don't think anything's wrong with Deontay Wilder. I think he'll be perfectly normal and uh, and be back to knocking people out as always. Would, would you would you favor him over Joshua if that fight ever? That, it seems like that's the fight people would still want to see if Deontay's going to keep going. At this point, ask me that question. I wouldn't favor Deontay Wilder over Anthony Joshua. I would just like to be a good a fan sitting <laughs> close enough. I like to sit on that, not ringside, but I want to sit on the first rise, maybe like four rows up. Let me be the one sitting there and watching that fight. That's what I like to be, because that would be an exciting fight. Someone's getting knocked out. If they, like, that ain't going 12. Listen, all I like is knockouts. So, yeah. How, how do you, you know, like the, the May, like Floyd Mayweather for one, he would talk about basically like F knockouts. You know, I'm, just get the dub and... How, how do you compare those two philosophies? They're both from Detroit, Michigan, you know, Grand Rapids and Detroit, but how would you, you know, compare those two philosophies? Well, one philosophy is business, and one is like, I'm a Spartan. I'm a warrior. So I, I understand both. So I, I don't knock Floyd for having that mindset of uh, forget a knockout. Right. If that's the word you were trying to say. I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Once I, I, don't, I don't have a... But, I mean, if you look at his career, he's had a lot of hard fights. He, he fought. He fought his behind off to get to where he is to make the choices that he makes. So whatever he does is okay with me. I personally don't have a problem with it, but some people may have a problem with it because they don't understand it. But he's paid, he's paid a lot of dudes in this sport to get where he's at to call the shots that he calls. And I can't do anything but respect that. You know, in a business sense, I, I, I mean, it's, it's the right thing to do. Why are you going to have your whole life just, you know, fighting hard fights all the time? If you were an auto worker and you worked in a plant and worked hard your whole life and you got 50 years in, you're going to still working on a line or you're going to have a nice, a nice, a nice good job, which, which is what you want. It's time for the young guys. To yeah, do let the young guys do the work. And, and, let the yeah. old guys just sit out and, and do their work as they know how to do it. But let it be easy work for them. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that at all. But you have to get to that point first. So maybe a lot of young guys and a lot of boxing fans or whatever don't understand that. But it's, it, put yourself, put yourself in his situation, but in any other field of work, and, and that's what you should get. But one thing I learned from Emmanuel is always treat somebody how you want to be treated. So I can understand the mindset of Floyd and what he does versus somebody else who hasn't been in that situation to try to do the same thing. So I understand both situations. So for me, it's easy to say, okay, I understand this, and I understand that. And in and, and between too, because in between this and that, there's a between. So those steps, I've enjoyed that journey. So I understand a lot. And he's done Michigan big crowd, right? So. Oh yeah. And, and, just, and Vegas. That's right. 
in the world. I mean, it's, oh, no, we adopted him in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, what? he's a, he's a, world, he's a worldwide figure and uh, a trendsetter, and he's done a lot for boxing. I mean, a lot for boxing means like, okay, so boxing used to be so brutal, but then he took it to the next level as a business, being a businessman. Not to say he was the first one, but he took it to that next level, right. you know, as a businessman. So, I mean, it's done a lot for boxing, period.